Warning. Unauthorized copying or re-uploading any videos in this channel is strictly prohibited and is a criminal offense. You can share this video with others. Violators will be banned from this channel and will no longer be able to view this channel. Hello and welcome to my channel. This video discusses about the cyberspace. Modern Psyche loves new frontiers and wide open spaces. Likes to explore new arenas has varied interests and eager to make rules than following them. Prefers unlimited freedom and hates to be nagged by neighbors. Cyberspace is such a place that offers all these possibilities to its users. Cyberspace can be defined as an intellectual legal and artificial environment. It is a virtual real estate. Traditional metaphors of highways and frontiers were also used to denote cyberspace. Imagining cyberspace as a virtual real estate helps to understand its features easily. Cyberspace has evolved over the years from a playground for computer nerds to a tool used even by kids. The fear of misusing the cyberspace by kids is a big concern. Just like in a real estate. In cyberspace also some properties are owned, some are rented, some are suitable for children, and some suitable for all. But some are to be best avoided as they make cyberspace a nasty place. These diverse features of cyberspace often force people to raise the claim for regulation. But censoring or silencing cyberspace is fundamentally against its nature and will not work. The popular misconception about cyberspace is that it is a place where wicked people can grab unsuspecting children or a giant sending offensive messages at unwilling viewers. In reality, cyberspace is a voluntary destination. Users have to choose where they visit or what they see or do. Cyberspace communities have to set standards for themselves. So, Self-rules work better in cyberspace than external control or regulation. Three major areas of service available in cyberspace are Private email conversations Entertainment services Real communities or group communication As all these services are private and consensual, they require no regulation at all. Cyber freedom Cyberspace provides unlimited freedom to its users. This freedom imposes a moral responsibility on users to follow self-restraint in cyberspace. It aims at creating self-regulated or self-contained communities. Unlike terrestrial communities, if a user doesn't like these rules, he or she can quit. Some cyber communities opt moderators to regulate rude participants. Love it or leave it is the rule. Conflicts in Cyberspace Evolving rules to govern content, access control, free speech and privacy will help to reduce conflicts in cyberspace. In future a world of self-contained communities, free from regulations might emerge. They will cater to the inclination of their members without interfering with the interests of others. But it's good to remind that there is no perfect society on Earth. Likewise, we won't have one in cyberspace either. Individual choice and individual responsibility will help to avoid conflicts in cyberspace. 